Yep. All right. All right. So with Spider-Verse being our certified legend, we have a second, the runner-up, our certified sidekick, <laughs> which is actually a tie. Final Fantasy and Record of Ragnarok. So Duh. we don't get the distinction of, of a speech. We just get to sit here behind Dark Wizard somewhat, for now. Somewhat look pretty. You're somewhat the people in. Somewhat look pretty. That's what you are. Get the people packing your hands. Well, they can see my hands. Maybe like here. As it should be. We will see what happens in the next category. So they... I know. It's good. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, it, you know, it's okay. You there's other categories. <laughs> there's there's other categories. There's always a chance. Something I, a muck in here. So, <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Since we're just gonna play it like that. On to the next one. Up next, those who have made their way by giving us laryngitis. Take it how you want to. It is best cast on a sitcom. Ooh. The first. Call Me Cat by Dark. Oh, my gosh. Listen, I can talk about this show forever. So, has anybody anybody even heard of this show, first off? Let's just get there. Yes. Okay. No, I have not. (laughs) Call Me Cat. Uh, Leslie, uh, what's his name, was in there? Yes. Leslie. Oh, yeah. Jordan? Yes. Yes. He's one of the main people. And then I think he died right before season three aired, if I believe, if I'm correct. Mm Mm-hmm. That's what uh, that's kind of like what ended the show. Oh, go ahead, Drew. Yes. Um, <laughs> no. So you, you wait, Call Me Cat. You can think about New Girl. Essentially, is kind of the vibe I get from it. Um, the main character Cat. She's like this quirky, you know, like out there, like way different from most people. She's like forty something. She has a doctorate in mathematics, and then she decided. I'm gonna. Her dad died, and she's like, "I'm not gonna do this anymore. I'm not happy with it. I'm gonna open a cat cafe." And she opens this cat cafe. Kyla Pratt's in it, and they just, you know, go through typical sitcom stuff. I love it. I think is funny. I think is just so stupid and goofy sometimes. But in my mind, I'm cat. The way she lives her life and just how like upbeat and positive she always is. I'm like, oh my gosh. I was like, if cat was a real person. <laughs> it would be best for us. <laughs> so yeah, you could probably watch the Blossom. She literally, she's always, she's always played. The same okay, character. and I didn't know anything about Blossom, Blossom, and that's something I gotta watch. I don't think I've ever seen Blossom. Yeah. But yes, call me I Cat. Um, I didn't know Kyla Pratt was in that. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, yeah. She, she's your tip, your typical sidekick. Yeah, black, Pratt, black. Mm-hmm, girl, yeah, right. Because I'm black. I'm like, okay. But, you know, I'm happy to see her. I'm happy to see her. And she looks good uh, in every episode. So I will give her that. Damn. I'm glad mm. that. But yes, call me cat. have to do her like this. <laughs> mm. I'm still on the fence about that. Up next. Two by Icy Notes. What? I heard two scratch and then I see. I think it's two broke girls. <laughs> Did you two broke girls? Oh, two yeah. broke girls. girls. First off, it was funny as hell. I mean, that's it. It was just funny. Every episode, it built on itself. Uh, you had Kat Dennings of all people with her big ass titties. <laughs> so, I mean, love her. Oh my God. I, I mean, I <laughs> broke girls. It was, I mean, agreed. It was just an, an amazing show. That's all I got to say about that because Cat, I'm pretty I'm sure a lot of people have watched that show. <laughs> Cat, Cat oh, did hell yeah. You know, it, it actually, but you know, I, I loved it. But if you watch a lot of people's reception on it, like on YouTube and stuff, they actually consider it a really yes, bad like, show, which I don't get. It don't need to be. It, it shouldn't be, but it is. Well, importantly, some folks. Mm-hmm. Some people. Right. <laughs> Up next, Abbott Elementary. Uh, by Black Star. Go on. I mean, who else had the same thing? They won so many awards and everything with Abbott Elementary, especially Ava. I'm sorry. What was her favorite line? Oh, he's black? You must be. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Ooh, Allison, like, you know. It was the best, and the rest of them was also pretty good too. As well, can't feel about Barbara as well. Sweet baby Jesus and the grown man too. They want to step to my desk. <laughs> Who 
Something else you can't do. Well. <laughs> forget the do not forget the janitor. Yes, the janitor too, and his little clone too on the Halloween special, walking around and everything too as well. I mean, there's so many <laughs> that, good things. In so Janine, crazy. when she had the little beard, the one guy, the one basketball player, when she did the whole eye roll, she was like, "Oh, yo, black to Tizzy Aaron." Uh, she did the whole back thing on the side. Ooh, oh, so I'm gonna say this story's not good. <laughs> and Gregory was good as well because what? you know people keep saying I'm great anyway, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah, very stoic. Yeah, but he's good though. He's awesome. Yeah. And again, so many Grammys. Good with other people, yes. Special shout out comes out again this week because you know they come back again on the seventh. Better be watching. I gotta ask, isn't they coming soon? Yeah, I will say the cast is very well written. Yeah. Yeah, diverse, and they're all yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say if you don't watch Abbott, you're like. I finally started watching it. Finally. 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 Black. Well, it took me a little. It took uh, me a little while to watch. Oh, so you don't support black women? Is what you're saying? Now I understand the appeal. I, I know. <laughs> I know you ain't challenging somebody's black card. <laughs> <laughs> you really want to take that challenge? You turn into light wizard really quick. If it ain't white, I'm flying stuff. <laughs> Next for the culture, it is the Jamie Foxx show. Needed by the one and only for my people. That is funny. I mean. I feel like Jimmy Fox show is like it's it's underrated, especially in the culture. I love it when the people are talking about you know the great sitcoms we have, they forget about Jimmy Fox. It, Jimmy Fox has some of the best guest stars. I mean, Mary J. Blige. I mean, who who? Ronald Isley. I mean, in the cast, they just they interacted with each other just so well. So I mean, what more could I say for my culture? It's own tribute. I feel like it deserves this. The Jimmy Fox show. It was a good show. It was a good show. CW. Yeah. Wasn't Cedric Entertainer on that show too as well? No. That's the Steve Harvey show. Steve Harvey show. Yeah, yeah. He was on Two Broke Girls though. He was. Who? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Garrett Morris. You gotta laugh. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. He was what you call him's uh, son, Whitney. Uh, you gotta like him. <laughs> Do I have to? <laughs> I'm kind of glad to see Ger- Garrett Morris is still uh still acting. Kicking. Yeah, he <laughs> looks the same as he did back in the nineties too. I'm starting to get a little him and Morgan Freeman. Something just ain't <laughs> something just ain't agents. <laughs> 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 and last but not least, we have Friends nominated by Snow the Protagonist. I know. I got to hear this one. Good and well. I, I got to hear this one. What the when hell are you here? Co- cousin, <laughs> talk to me. Snow, we don't want you to pick Stanley Cup. Very wise. Stanley Cup. <laughs> well, if you want me to put my money where my mouth is, come on, give us um, something. Tell us. I will just go ahead and say that that show is probably the only sitcom I can say I've ever watched from start to finish. <laughs> wow. What? Wow. Yeah. Because, say it ain't so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's the only one I've ever sat and watched start to finish. And I thought it was a bombshell cast. Come on, guys. Are you guys going to really you guys gonna really downplay the cast? Like it's not one of the most iconic shows of all time. It has some it of the is. most me- memeable <laughs> moments. I only watch it, two seasons. They do. <laughs> Come on, man. Friends is, is a, Friends is a diehard classic. And I will fight a man in the parking lot who thinks otherwise. It's, a, it's also a ripoff of, of Living Single. Single. Okay, well, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> yes, we are. Because Living Single was the blueprint for Friends. Let's not talk about how they copied. Okay. I didn't watch Living Single. Not on, uh, you should have. Not... Right. <laughs> All you need to do is go straight to the source. Not on this Black History Month. Right. You will be doing that this February. 
You gonna do me um, like that on Black History Month? <laughs> you did yourself. You for nominating friends, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, though, all jokes aside, I will say, um, I do like Friends, the the show. I mean, you watch both Living Single and Friends. Like, yes, I can see the, you know, the inspiration. But like, I I, I will say. I, I thought Friends was fine. I mean, it probably could have not gone on as long as it did, but it was, I liked it. It's, inter- it's entertaining. I won't Being say that I didn't like it. That's all I got to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think really Phoebe was the one that like saved that. Phoebe and Joey. I guess. I don't remember their names. Oh, I do, because Joey is... Uh, I mean, well, not now. Uh, he'll look good now. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> Well, who? Rachel. Come on. That was Jennifer Aniston's character. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. So, our certified legend is two broke girls. <laughs> of course. Why would it not win? It's the win. It was the funniest okay. show out of all the I'll world. I'll give it that. Okay. Too, I'm actually, I'm not mad at that. I'm not not too much on Comic Cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not mad at that, I guess. I, I love two broke girls, but damn, for my people. If Jimmy Fox could have <laughs> just held it there. Well, I don't know oh. it was him. It could have been a network. Don't forget that. <laughs> Who took second? I still yes. want. I still oh, want wait, the to bring them back so they can. Oh, yeah. I did. Of course they won. Mm. Oh, that was it? Sure. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Our certified sidekick. Abbott Elementary. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. If Call Me Cat would have made it, I'd have been like, dang. <laughs> See, Call Me Cat is too new. I don't think that many people watched it. I yeah, also had no. need to come out. What's her name? I mean, it was about a few years, like right after, yeah. like a little bit after Big Bang Theory. Ended. It wasn't that long ago. Yeah. Oh, well, shit. I got time then. I don't feel so bad about not watching. What well, is that now? So you you got Hulu. Oh. I see it didn't last that long either. All right. <laughs> Listen, right. Whoop. <laughs> they, 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 they and I, Thought you, thought you had something. <laughs> they, I, I think they only did it because of Leslie Jordan passed away. Oh, yeah, I wonder uh, if that's yeah, what it yeah. was, too. Because I'm surprised when they ended that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I can understand that, then. That sucks. He was funny. Yeah. Oh, he was so good in the show, too. Uh, he's good in everything he does. I was about to say. <laughs> even, say even, even when he's guest hosted, like on Drag Race, he's just funny as all get out. <laughs> but... Moving along. They are darkness. They are the night. They're also copywritten, but it's the best origin portrayal in a superhero movie. Now, up first, we have Blue Beetle by Darkness. <laughs> now, I don't know if it's the best, but I just recently watched the mm-hmm. movie when we were talking about this, and I think it just kind of like spoke to me. I think I was excited that the um, the main character was Hispanic. I so like. You know him just with the natural like, hey, I want to like want better for myself, better for my family. I want to go to college and do this thing. And um, when family like what lost their house and you know they went through all these struggles. And you know he really was just trying to do what he could just to um, you know make you know look out for his family. And even when he got the scare up, he wasn't even really trying to like. He didn't want to be the Blue Beetle. He was just kind of, if I remember correctly, he was just helping that chick, the uh, the seat, the important girl. I cannot remember her name right there. Yeah, he was trying to help out and then you know make a name for himself and you know do things honestly. And then he was like, oh, I got these powers. Um, you know, still I don't know, use them for good, even though the Beetle was like low key on like we gotta. We got to start annihilating some people. He was like, no, we don't do that. <laughs> like, mm. we, we got to chill. But I don't know. I just thought, of, I just like the, I just like the story. So I chose Blue Beetle. He was there for a job. He, it was a good movie. You know, I'm just was. trying to work. It was. I'm just trying to make some money. <laughs> I, I like the actor they picked and everything, too. I do. It was, From, it was, it was a nice little story. 
I'm kind of sad it wasn't as big as it, it wasn't bigger. Yeah. Like, it could have been bigger than what it was. Up uh, next. Well, don't say that. DC might be making a comeback. Give him a chance. Uh. <laughs> but while we wait, <laughs> the next one is Shaft's Big Score by Icy Notes. I chose that. And I know that, that now. See, I went far fetched on that one because I thought it was for um, something else. He was kind of a superhero. He was a definitely a very black superhero. He was a hero. He, he was. He was a detective, or whatever. He was not like, all heroes have powers. You guys consider him? He was more of a vigilante. Not here where capes. <clears throat> yeah, I'm about to say, question but is I, a hero, and he doesn't. I chose he's him. Just a I detective. Chose him because of, uh, <laughs> he. Uh, I don't know. I, I've always liked that. Always liked that franchise. Period. I, I watch all the Shaft's movies. Anything that had to do with John Shaft, even the newer ones, I liked them. Not as much as the older ones. But I just like, I just, I don't know. I just really liked it. And plus, he's a black superhero. Or to me, he was a superhero. So that's why I chose him. That was more of a personal reason, not an overall reason. I just liked it. Go ahead. And that's on period. <laughs> Shaft. If you're gonna do it, you gotta do it right. Okay, we'll do it. Show how to do it then. <laughs> Show those pipes. Ooh, right. <laughs> 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 okay. So up next we have Deadpool One by Black Star. Y'all probably could have guessed that. <laughs> Thank you. By Ryan Reynolds. Okay, the origin right. is only in one. But <laughs> Ryan Reynolds is fucking amazing. He did a very good job, especially coming from sorry, Green Lantern. Sorry, the other movie that would not be named that he did too as well. But he did a really good job of catching like, Deadpool's iconic whimsical gender fluid self being crazy, funny. Who else can say more about Deadpool? He just did everything so well and portrayed that character, that Marvel character just ever so well on that. And a new one. Hopefully, we get a fucking trailer here soon. <laughs> Come on now. I've seen too many screenshots and videos for it. Not videos. I thought they were supposed to bring it out for Super Bowl. Hopefully, That's what I thought. Hopefully, give me something. I don't care. I'm tired. Of... Anyway, <laughs> but he did a really good job on his for Shane Deadpool. I'm actually going to end up watching that again today because I can't fucking stop watching it. It's good. Did you watch the second one? I watched them recently too, so it is a yeah, good movie. Yeah, uh, well, usually if I watch both, I'm going to watch them both because it has to go in order because it's like I'm dying laughing. And what kind of power is luck? That only really look cool when you do running around in slow motion doing things. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about yes. watching them. Hey, yeah. What do you mean by you thought about watching like your first time watching them or like watching them again? No, I watched oh, okay. them. I've watched them a couple times, but I thought about watching them again since three is coming out. But I had I, a question though. Because the last couple times you said you need to Oh question. And what if I hadn't have watched them? I can vouch for that first <laughs> Who gonna check me? Isn't that right, Trey? Oh, my. Um, got on, this. We went in February for Valentine's Day. Remember Trey? You ate that recently. Like they been giant ass recent, yeah. He <laughs> manhandled that damn thing. <laughs> he ate I'm a man. change man, man. No, you're not. <laughs> I said, that's a lie. <laughs> I'm a change man. Ooh, that was a lot before God. Hey, Jax, get back here. Next, we have Joker by Snow the Protagonist. Yeah, that's a good choice. You know why I picked it? Because it's the winner. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm what is that? Just, but go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Do, do you. Shit. That's why I picked it. I I I was I was a little tardy to the party. I didn't see that movie until maybe like a month or two ago. And <clears throat> it's just good. Everything about it was just great. The whole movie was fantastic. It was, he did, Joaquin Phoenix did an, a very incredible job of making you feel uncomfortable throughout the entirety of the movie, but still engaged 
And uh, I just don't think that there's an origin story for a comic book or any type of thing like that. I think he just murdered it. And um, yeah, I just, as far as an origin story goes, it, it was just too good. It was too good to not make it a nominee. So yeah, this, this yeah. is fantastic. It was definitely more than just about the Joker. It was, well, the way my barber put it. He said it was some more of a psychological thing. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I can't yeah. I can't argue with that. I was a little I didn't quite know how to take it when I first watched it, but the more yeah. I sat with it, the more it was kind of like, okay, I get what it keeps you. It keeps you like off balance through the whole movie, which is like yeah. I feel like what which was the whole point, which I think they were going for is like you can't sit comfortable with it and i think that's what they wanted in it and i think they killed it so because the joker is supposed to make you feel unsafe and uneasy and on edge and i felt that through the whole movie with the with his portrayal as the joker it was just too spot on <clears throat> can't argue with yes. that very engaged throughout the whole movie the i felt like i had i felt like somebody had slipped me something <laughs> Yeah, yes. no, the whole movie, the whole movie felt like a fever dream. Yes, <clears throat> but I guess in the best way. The Joker. <laughs> but then you have to wonder, like, is this actually how it happened, or is this just how he sees it? Exactly, that's what he I mean. To believe, exactly, it's like you're watching the movie through rose-colored lenses, like you just don't know. Well, that leads us to our final pick. Namor from Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Once again, for my people. <laughs> <coughs> Nobody else would do it for the culture, but I'll do it for the culture. Wait, I'm, I'm for the culture too. I was just I, I, it all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta get in touch with my with my Latin roots now, you know. I, was, I mean what can I say? I mean, for them to take uh, Namor, a traditional Atlantean in the comics, and they kind of like, I like how they combined it with Aztec culture, and I like that they picked a culture that is not talked about enough and is not represented enough because we as black people get that anyway. So it was kind of nice to see, you know, two different sides kind of fighting the same struggle. They both were dealing with grief and loss in that movie differently and they handled it differently, but they both had like a shared anger. I felt like with Shuri and Namor. Um, and I liked that how it kind of didn't resolve, but it found a stopping point. So at the end of the movie, it was like Namor is one of those characters who, because they, mixed his origin with this culture and i liked that it was authentic they went and got they got references from traditional from people who knew what they were talking about the language is a mixture of aztec culture everything it was just beautiful and i like how where they left it namor is one of those characters where it's like um he can really do whatever at this point and you just have to wait and see so i had to give it to him and on top of that i mean first mutant let's go <laughs> he was a mutant amongst his people that was the line yeah. In MCU? You MCU? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, what's the name? What's the first? He, he was the first. A, I, I, a, uh, apocalypse. Uh, technically, uh, in the timeline, pu publication wise, he was the first. MCU. He was yeah. the first mutant in, in, in publication wise, but continuity wise, it is apocalypse. Okay. Oh, Whatever. <laughs> but it'd be technical. Miss Marvel's mom beat him. She had the Bengals. She probably mutant. Well, but she's, she wasn't technically a mutant, though. She was. She was in MCU. She is a mutant. She, but she doesn't have any powers. Well, I mean, yeah, he is the first mutant in the MCU, I guess that does. Yeah, that's and what, I think that's what it's Yeah, I guess. <laughs> We're not gonna argue with my pick. Maybe you, have it. you got this. <laughs> you you can have it. After breaking through his leaves in the water. First mutant in the MCU, you can have it. He was badass, but he was badass though. You can't argue with that. Yeah, he was pretty cool. <laughs> but our certified legend is it is actually a tie. Joker, Told I you. stole the protagonist. In <laughs> Namor, Black Panther. I to our you, certified I legends, the Twinners. I told, you, I told you I picked it because it won. 
<laughs> oh no, no, you gotta share that honor. It does not stand alone. A win is a win. We there is not only get. one. We get them or we get them. <laughs> You know what? Whatever. I second that. Even though he's hard for that, but I'm happy to share this award with my cousin. And yeah. be so humble. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> in my in, in, in my in my humbleness, I do co accept this award with my brethren. It is an honor. It's an, yeah. Yeah, we we had to break in a half or something. Some, I, guess, yeah, I call it here. That's cool. Just split a piece of gum. Yeah, a piece of gum. <laughs> Bazooka Joe, man. We're on a budget. We're on a budget. Oh, We're shit. Budget right. I got We're on a budget. <laughs> Bazooka Joe. <gel. laughs> yeah. I can go in half on. I can go, in, go in half on some hubba bubba. I'm about to say, I got some bubble yum somewhere from Halloween. <laughs> bubble yum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're talking about like the spearmint stick or something. <laughs> <laughs> A little All big right. league, little big league two. <laughs> oh, Our, stuff is in the house. I guess I could have split. Oh well, yeah, we'll but then I, mean, <laughs> I guess I guess that's I, I'll take that as long as you get the apple car. Mm. Our certified sidekick is Blue Beetle. Oh, was not expecting. I. Huh? Wait a minute! You just won the last category. What you mean you on the outs? <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. I'm sorry. <laughs> I bet not to see people like, oh my god, this trailer is amazing. Like, ah ah ah. Remember y'all? Like, <laughs> I'm confused <laughs> at the statement. Though we're on the outs. What do you mean? In this category, because I knew nobody was going to play this unless they were like older. Oh yeah, Deadpool, he does that. And everybody was like, no. Nah. Honestly, he would have would have been the most he's actually the more popular one of the Deadpool, but mm-hmm. that's what I was like. Mm. At least the people that voted. Like I say, if I know anybody who voted and voted, don't clap for three. I'm like, I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh that looks amazing. I'm like, no. I'm gonna get a bullhorn and yell it out the window. Deadpool, <laughs> Deadpool three. The trailer's out now for all of those. Even though his first movie didn't win, watch the trailer now. He's an amazing person. He is. I, I am excited for three though. I but whenever the trailer comes out, isn't three the only MCU movie we're getting this year? Yep, I believe so. Thank it God. Sup- supposedly, we'll thank see. God. Yeah, damn! Don't Still be that. like that. Oh no, it's not the movie. It's gonna be a show. I forgot about Agatha too coming out. Yeah. Uh, no. no. Oh, I kind of can't wait to see that. Okay, next. A traditional style of Japanese illustration. It is best anime movie. And At first, Demon Slayer, which was actually nominated by two people. Because it's the right answer. <laughs> Dark Wizard is not the protagonist. <laughs> it's the right an- it's the, because it's the right answer. <laughs> nah, man. Mugen Train. Train. Mugen Train was a movie. It's a the movie. Series, it turned to a movie to get people to go into the box office a lot. It was a movie. It was a movie. And it worked. I went. It was, it was a if, movie and you that turned. Money for that. If it, it had a, a cinematic debut, it counts. It had a cinematic debut. And let me tell you, it was. You it was. It was. It, it went insano style. That movie came in with a little too much dip on its chip, and boy, it knocked my socks off. It was one of the best things I ever watched. <laughs> and, and I don't. I don't think I don't think there's any competition. The Mugen Train was fantastic. I bet it Come on. So I'm saying um, Marvel's Inhumans was a cinematic movie or movie. So because they had two episodes that came out in the movie theater and then the rest of it was a series. Technically, yeah, but did you nominate Inhumans? It's not an anime movie, but I'm just saying. He just in that logic he just said would not be the same movie. Would not be so when it comes, so it, will we get a category? Anime? Yeah, are. anime movie. That's what I thought. I don't know. Logic. In the natural the void of the black star. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, just saying. We can do it, Demon Slayer. 
<laughs> Dark Wizard, do you have anything to contribute to your nomination? To your um, nomination? Um, <laughs> 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 I mean, it's so funny. Um, no, I think it's great. Um, I. I always like just the style of Demon Slayer. I think, I mean, I don't know how they uh, animate everything. It looks very beautiful. Um, I don't know. See, I get really excited like watching any of the the breathing techniques um, and even other fights, things like that. I think they animate that stuff really well. So yes, I. What's your favorite? Uh, my favorite? Oh, breathing style. Mm-hmm. Beast breathing is the correct answer. <laughs> 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 It is a thing, though. Because Inosuke is the coolest character in the show. (laughs) Come on. Get with the program. Um, You know what? I don't know if my girl even really has like a reading technique that she does, but I'm in love with the love, Hashira. So, like, she probably doesn't. You ever say, is it love breathing? It's love breathing or something. Yeah, it's love breathing. Honestly, very good brand for me. Honestly, those very, characters immediately I uh, I gravitate very, to. Very white man. He's very magical girl breathing, if you want to call it that. Thing. Yeah, magical what? Magical girl breathing. If you want to put a face to it. Wow. <laughs> By the power of the up. Oh God. <laughs> next next nomination: <laughs> Pokemon the first movie by Icy Ooh. Notes. Gotta catch them all for nostalgia reasons alone. I mean, yeah. that's pretty much it. I don't even know what else to really say. I know we all have seen that. Oh, absolutely. You know, I'm pretty I sure most people are just gonna watch this. I'm like, oh yeah, I've seen it. I know he that. Cap- he capping. <laughs> you might have me there. Yeah. Pokemon. Pokemon the first movie. Oh, yes. Holy no, I don't, I don't remember crying. I, I don't remember sad, crying. I don't remember oh, yeah, I was. It, I, I, got I did when they off. turned Ash to stone. Oh. I was like, what's going to happen oh. to the show? I just got angry. He got plot armor. He ain't going to die. Either. That was the only thing. I just thought it was a little corny how they brought him back, though. Yeah. You want him to die? That's more <laughs> bitch. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's the power of friendship and tears. Damn. I, yeah, it's just like, I mean, looking at it now, it's kind of, I mean, that's very lame right now. Even as a young child, even as a young oh child, gosh. even yeah. as a young as child, I remember punching the air. As an adult, it was just like, okay. Mm-hmm. You didn't wake up the next morning and see a new episode of Pokemon. Oh, he's alive. Yay. <laughs> oh, he made it. I right from the island. I guess apparently the cinematic <laughs> Ash is different than the one in the anime. What's yeah, it's the, PC, it's, the, it's, the, it's the PCU. It's fine. Yeah. Which one do you like better? So he said Ash. The one that wins. Man, what if both of them lose? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the one of the movies he get the he goes on the bigger adventures. That's about it. He said don't catch nobody, but yeah, he's pretty good. Oh, I, don't, I don't think he ever caught anybody in the movies. Nope. Besides he's when they redid the Yeah. I know he had to run Mewtwo's fade. Yes. yes. Mew was a little too playful for me. I was like, get in his ass. What you waiting on? You so to be saving these motherfuckers and you out here. I love Mew. They called Mew was the villain. I can see that. I really I, know. You know what though? I can see that. I'm I'm kind of with that angle. <laughs> they said honestly, Mew was so unbothered by Mewtwo and everybody that was on the island. He just happened to be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mewtwo was the Pokemon's killmonger. I'm doing this for us. <laughs> Man, Mew, Mew is just—he just like stumbled. He was like the drunken, uh, was it the drunken master. He just stumbled. He was like, hey, what the fuck y'all doing in here? Right. Like, what's going on in here? <laughs> oh, are we doing I'm this? Dead. All right, bitch. Bet. Right. <laughs> Wait, what side am I on? I'm, I'm gonna just fight the biggest one over there. <laughs> <laughs> So he, oh, he didn't shit. really help anybody for to help them. He just wanted to go and he just went after mutes. He didn't cry either when Ash died. He just kind of said, like, well, what the fuck? All right, I moving know. along. I don't know. I'm here. I, don't, I do not know him no. like that. Okay. Yeah, Mew, <laughs> Mew, was, Mew was just doing his own thing. The whole movie was just Mew's world and everybody else was just living in it. 
I, I mean, yeah. this is the best way to be. It's yeah, your world. I, it's other people side characters. Even with even with even with Mewtwo just running around, just swinging his massive cock around and asserting dominance on everybody, Mew was just like, you know what? It's fine. Oh, damn. It's his world, and we're all living in it. He's like, as long as you know you're what? bothering me, I'm not bothering you. Justice for Mewtwo. He was just trying to do the right thing. <laughs> yeah, Black yeah. Uh, Mewtwo definitely had Black Air Force energy. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> next nomination: <laughs> Justice League and Ruby, nominated by me. Not one for the culture, but still a good one nonetheless. <clears throat> I mean, if you like anime and you like comics, like I do, it's a good blend. You get to see them kind of mix it up in each other's world and then in part two they flip it you get to do this thing they kind of have a joint villain thing going on i mean you can't ask for two better teams to to team up if they're going to represent their genres i mean it's dope i won't take too much time because i feel like it's a winner it was good i, watched it. I didn't watch it but i did see it and it did look super hype it did look super hype yeah i watched the trailer it looks really hype Waiting for part two to drop on Max or whatever the newest one comes out. When you've been, I think it might. I think it it might be. I think I thought it was out because I think I seen something the other day. I'm gonna check that out. <clears throat> but um, I mean, come on. It, to to see them go to an anime world and they have this superhero logic, so to speak, and it doesn't apply naturally to that world, and it's like, well, you know what I mean. To cross a genre like that, and that type of logic doesn't necessarily apply. Don't, don't, don't do that because we just we're we're not gonna do that. <laughs> so, Justice League and Ruby do the right thing. Anime. That's a different movie. I mean, for anime and for comics, we can't just. <laughs> anime. anime Ruby is like on this like jet American anime, but it's really good. The new season of Ruby is amazing. Plus, uh, the music, Checkmate, and Red Like Roses Part Three is amazing. No, nothing's ever gonna it. beat. Nothing's ever gonna beat. Let's just live, man. Come on. That one's good too. That one's good too. Let's just what live about... is so goaded. Mm. And what about the fight sequences? I mean, come on. It's Ruby. It has to be really good fight season. You can't give you no crappy fight season with Ruby. I mean, we lost a blur. Next, we have Suzame by Blackstar. Suzane. Suzane. Suzame. You got it. <laughs> hey, if you're going to say it, you got to say it right. It's your nomination, right. not mine. It's not my job to get it right. You got it. I know. I did. I helped you out. You know. But if you've never seen a Misukag, whatever his name is, Misukag, whoever, the guy who produces the movie, you'll know it if you watch it. Musa who? Mitsu. It's another Japanese name that I'm not going to pronounce ever again in my life, but it's sort of an M. If you ever watched, I mispronounced another one earlier, but if you ever watch Your Name and Something About Summer, it's another one of these super sad movies. It comes out on God, the damn. once a year. If you watch it, it's like all the feels in the world. You're going to be like, oh, it's going to be fine. And next thing you know, at the end of the movie, you're going to be like, oh my God, I need the tissue box right now because it's so sad. It's really good. If you've never seen Susume, watch it on Country Road. If you've never seen your name, go watch it. Oh, I what think I've seen it pop up. What, what is your go name? Go watch it. Go watch it. Yes. I, just don't, I don't like what sad. Is- I, I doesn't need <laughs> times to cry. <laughs> Listen, I'm, you might need this one to cry. It might make you cry. Oh my God. Sometimes I need a good one, yeah. You know, because you're like, what? Why is he a chair? What? Why is this happening? Why is he in a different world? Why is this all this happening? At the end of it, it's gonna grow and grow and grow. And the next thing you know, you're gonna be like, teardrop. I know you're <laughs> TikTok about people randomly see each other. And the next thing you know, the music plays like <gasps> some Japanese music plays like. Do I let? Oh, I don't know. Five minutes later, yes, you're loving each other. But it's really good. <laughs> Go watch it if you haven't. If you don't know anything about any of his movie theaters or Your Name or Sisome. What was the other one you said to watch too? Your, your name? name? What's that one about? It's about these two people. Uh, about a journal or something like that. Both of them are in different 
different timelines. A young girl and this uh-huh. one guy in a different time, and they're writing to each other or something like that. They can never be each other, meet each other because of their opposite timelines of the world. But they eventually start falling in love with just by writing letters and everything. And they're kind of both at the same place, but not at the same place because different timelines. But I know that sounds really cute. You're brawling, crawling. You're like, oh, that's not really cute, like, honestly. <laughs> Like, they better got together because if they don't get together, I'll be pissed. I'm about to say, sort of. don't tell me it's a tragedy. Yeah. See, no, I don't like the sort of already. <laughs> <laughs> you go, you you go through all of that shit across timelines, and you just give me a sort of. I'm not spoiling anything. I told you go watch it. If you've never seen it before, <sighs> any people who didn't even nominate it, go watch it. If you want to sit there and go for a good cry, like even like you know, I haven't cried for a while. Just watch them back to back. Like, oh my god, <laughs> he is trying. To- I'm crying in a bit. Right, you're like, you know what? I need to watch something sad. Just go watch it. I mean, sometimes you need that. You need a good cry. Hey, I guess. We'll see. They somebody better get something—a warm handshake or something. Um, <laughs> not in that one. And Susan, and yes, they together, they kiss, and you know, teacher student thing situation. Oh, okay. There's a fight scene. It's a very nice, and even I sounds attacking. a little pedophilish, but okay. It's the <laughs> right, the right said, age. Oops. Japanese. It's the right age, and there's no tentacles or anything like that. Oh dear. Or Nissan. Oh my God, Nissan, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> What's it? Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer one. Yeah, our certified legend. Yay. Of course it did. Oh, he's kind together. of popped up and said Demon Slayer. All right. <laughs> yeah, of course it did. It. I'm crap. I'm happy for it. Entertainment arc. I was to say. Well, first of all, I just want to go ahead and say that Entertainment District Arc is the best piece of media we were ever blessed with. Um, okay. Nothing comes close. Um, one of the greatest things my eyes have ever interacted with. Um, Mugen Train was just, I mean, right. was sad. It's, one of, it's just one of those things where, you know, sometimes every now and again, guys just like, I'm going to throw him a bone. And we got it. And, um, you know. Obviously, Ufotable is undefeated in the animation department. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a no-brainer. So, I'll just... Same. You get a... He's going to do a ditto. No. Yeah. Right, ditto. All right, I give, it one, I give it one fan and a circular motion. <laughs> Who's our sidekick? Our certified sidekick is... Pokemon in the first movie. I see notes. Oh, honestly, I I, I kind of saw Pokemon winning it. So I give you another. I thought that's why another... I picked it. I thought I was gonna win too. I'm like, I don't <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you don't know the math, it's like new age stuff. Windows if we don't Windows know, I didn't watch that many anime movies, so therefore that's why I picked that one. It's established. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, for the people in the back, you. There we go. Hey, you guys. He doesn't like anime. There you go. <laughs> I never said I He's didn't. He's a frog. <laughs> Our next I never said Lord. I didn't like it. I said Lord. it's not my thing. The children are fighting. <laughs> He's a phony. A great big phony. Before multiple forms of assault are committed. Move it on to the next category. <laughs> this is a tribute to all of those who have multiple thumb injuries and who have committed various acts of vandalism. Oh. It is the best video game series. Dedicated oh. to all of us who have raged quit. Yes. Mm. Praise him. Uh, <laughs> up first, Yakuza by Blackstar. Ooh. I've, so I know we got a lot of games like Mega Man, we could have put it on there. We got Mario, we could have put on there. We got Donkey Kong, we could have put on there. We could have put Sonic. Okay, Kale. but we don't. We, okay, we, we, we only got an hour and a half. <laughs> I know, but um, it's a point I'm getting to. Ooh, Yakuza, Yakuza like a dragon, the whole series. It's amazing. You got a lot of fighting. You got the Mafia so, Warfare on it. It's still one of the Like a Dragon series. Still has a traditional so, turn-based 
system wanted for RPGs that's still out, which is very few of them still have the tournament. Everybody else has this super Devil May Cry. Let's spell some magic and stuff in there, but it's a still traditional turn-based fighting game, and it has all the fighting in the one in, I'm not going to say the best, but one of the best fighting background music from boss battles, for regular just regular enemies battles, but it's Yeah, you know, soundtrack slaps. Yes, it does. And I was like, oh, what is this? It's not Persona level, but it's like... Third. It's not Persona level, yeah. No. Persona's <laughs> third. third. Persona's the GOAT. It's no massive destruction or anything like that. Persona's the uh, Just like, you know. No, reach out to the stars. Yes. Sorry. Reach out to the truth. I mean, reach out to the truth, no last surprise. Mm-hmm. But it's good. I actually don't think yeah. I've played it. I wanted yeah. to. I've just seen it. I just recently played through Like a Dragon, and it was fantastic. Mm-hmm. It was so, so fun. A friend. It was so fun. Yeah, the pound mates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so fun. Yes. It was so fun. It was just a. It was just a goofy fun time. Yes, it was. And the guy in the giant sumo diaper crying, lowering your defense and everything like that. It's, it's random as hell. That's all I can say about it. It's random. Yeah. It was good. Yeah, the Yakuza series is good. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, I might get around to it. It's so it's so good. It's good. Song of Life is still my favorite one out of all of them, but yeah, Like a Dragon was amazing. And the new one's out too, if you haven't played it. I know. If, 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 if Infinite Wealth, yeah, I know. I know. I have to get it. It got nines already in the highest rating. It's I awesome. know. When did it come out? Like a few days ago. It looks, it looks so Last good. Week. Last week. Yeah, so it looks so good. I've played them all... And yeah, it is a fantastic series. It's a fantastic series. Uh-huh. <laughs> but our next nomination Kingdom Hearts by Snow the Protagonist. That's a good one. Do I need to say anything else? <laughs> I, you just definitely a good way. Do I need to say anything else? Um, it's confusing. Mm-hmm. The story. Confusing no, as hell. No, it's not. I don't know what's going on there. I'm just I can I can explain the whole story to you in seven minutes. <laughs> you only got I, I'm gonna minute. need you to make a video on. I'm gonna need you to make a video on that. Right. <laughs> I, I will. I will. I'm pointing out every plot like hole. This. Like okay. I will. Right. <laughs> Look at me like. I'll, oh. Yeah. I'll been holding. Well, no. I mean, like, we all grew up with Kingdom Hearts. I mean, Disney, Final Fantasy, together. I mean, that's that's a no-brainer. Come on. Um, Final Fantasy, you don't have Kingdom Hearts. Everybody loves, you know, everybody loves Sora. Yeah. He's one of the most iconic video game characters of all time. Goofy, my nigga. Of course. Ooh, Goofy. Yeah. K- Kingdom, Heart, Kingdom Hearts is one of them ones where no matter who you are or what you are, there's something in it for you. And I feel like Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix is the greatest game ever made. It was forged by the gods. Uh, nothing will ever come close to it other than like Persona 5. You said Final Mix? Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix is the Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix is the greatest game ever made. I will give you that one. Yes. And I mean, obviously, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3 was a little bit of a stinker, but I mean, you still got the original Kingdom Hearts. You got Birth by Sleep. You got. Kingdom Hearts good. 2, you've got Chain of Memories, Dream Drop okay. Distance, you know what I mean? You got, I mean, it, it, it goes on. You know, it's got its own manga series. Like, it's just, it's a fantastic series. It's a mobile so, game, too, as well. Yeah, it's mobile games. It's just, it's it's huge. It's bigger than all of us, and I think it's the greatest series of all time. Okay. All connected in one big story that still doesn't make sense. I will explain. Well, just wait for my video to drop. You'll, you'll, you'll <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of inspirations, our next nomination, Final Fantasy. Final yes. Fantasy. Hey, brothers. Or, I guess it's more of a parent than so. <laughs> <laughs> he, the, he, he the pappy. Uh, <laughs> I, so Final Fantasy has always been like a really exciting series to me. I've always been a big turn base or turn style like game gamer. Um, and I think the first one I actually played was Final Fantasy VIII. What's the chick in the blue dress? I think it was eight. Yeah, I think eight, it was eight. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Ranoa. 
it was eight, and I remember it was a demo I had, like as a yeah. kid. And I remember playing this. I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! This is so cool!" Yeah, um, and then, of course, crazy. as I got older, I started like really going through all the series, like starting at one, going into two, things like that. I mean, of course, now it's taking a little bit of a of a turn. Um, you went Final Fantasy twelve. I mean, I guess twelve was still turn based style. But you think about like fourteen, yeah. Uh, you know, kind of getting a little bit away from that, but so just like a really exciting game series. So you, you just you have a lot of fun with it. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. The series itself is always chef's kiss, and I mean it's been around forever too. So. What's your favorite? Yeah. And it's long. Um, my favorite. Oh, ten and ten too. Ten is amazing. Ten is good. Yes. Ten is amazing. Yes. I kind of like twelve. I'm sorry. I have to be the one. I like twelve. Twelve is good. I'm I'm playing twelve. But- Right now, see the gambit system is good. It really yeah. Itself. All right, put away your uh, torches and pitchforks before I say this. But my favorite Final Fantasy is Final Fantasy Thirteen. I like with lightning. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. lightning was good. I like lightning. The first one. That was a good series. Everybody hates it, but it's literally the only Final Fantasy that got an entire trilogy, and the whole trilogy was fire. Yeah, favorite. I played it. I played all of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. good. Final Fantasy still, 13 is my partial. favorite. I'm still impartial to 10-2. That was the one I started with. 10-2 and... was great, yeah. 10 and 10-2 was, was really good. But I had to backtrack and play all those other fucking games leading up to that, and I was a pain in the ass. I went to 10-2, then 10, and then went ahead. I skipped 11, went to 12, and 13. I played most of them. I just I played all of them except 11 <coughs> and 4. I don't think I ever played 4. And 5. Ele- four, five, and eleven are the ones that I never played. No, four, five, six, and eleven are the ones I never played. Cause I don't even think six even came to America. No, I have an honest truth. Yeah, I, I so. never played Final Fantasy seven or the remake. I just like I haven't. Everybody's like, What's wrong with you? Great. I know. <laughs> I know. I never played seven. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I just never seen things. I was go, go. Let me go play this. Like no, I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> I like Crisis Core. I played that one if that counts. What in the world? <laughs> you gotta play at least play. I mean, it's one of them ones where you don't really if you if you don't really fancy the original, you can play you can play the remake and I'm like it's... halfway through. I already know how it ends, but I'm like halfway through. I changed it. But... Wait, Final who Fantasy picked Final Fantasy? Was it? Dark with Zerif. Dark with Zerif. It's me, but it's so popular. I mean, if one of them wins, they both kind of wins. Okay. Okay. Right. The next moving on. The next nomination (laughs) is Gex by Icy Mm -hmm. Notes. Ah, enter the enter the gecko. Yeah, and it is it's a three parter. And actually, that's the one I played was that one. I didn't get to play the other ones, but I did look into them. But I only liked it because it was just like 007. That's literally why I played it. Because it wasn't, because I remember when 007 came out that around that time, and they brought out Gex, and I was like, oh, shit, it's a fucking Gecko. <laughs> so, yeah. So I have to play it. <laughs> so that's actually Gex. one of the games I played on my own without any <laughs> Gex, yeah, Gex Two Enter the Gecko. That's the one where he uh, was jumping through TV screens and he had the tuxedo and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that game was that, that game was, was fire. Fun. Man, it was fun, very fun. Would you play a remake if they came out one? Absolutely. They actually was talking about doing a remake uh, for I think for PC. Really? Absolutely, so, that would be big. that would be that would be big. They're talking mm-hmm. about it in the um, Reddit group about it, but it might yeah. be another one. Said, that would be big. Really, they're big. supposed to have a fourth one, but I guess it wasn't enough interest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They said, nah. Uh, so, not this time. So it might not have been a popular pick, but hey, I liked it. So I don't really give a damn. <laughs> All right. Our final nomination for this. This category. The suspense is, I'm the suspense. be honest. The suspense is killing me. I'm gonna be honest. It brought my. <laughs> I mean, two words. Miles Morales. Do I need to say more? No, you don't. 
this game it be it brought Miles Miles Morales here. We still have Miles Morales in the in the in the new game. I mean, arguably, not arguably, my favorite Spider Man. I don't care what anybody else says. And just to see him in in a game, I get to play him. I get to shock people. I get to do all types of shit. It just I feel like the storylines in that game. It felt like almost like a movie. You could play one leading into the other, or you could play them by themselves, and they just kind of stand alone. But just yeah, Miles Morales. Need I say more? Kid Arachnid. I haven't finished. I didn't play it, but I still need to finish playing it. It glitched out, and I stopped playing. Oh, did it? Uh, that sucks. I got to the mission with Doctor Strange and the enemy fell through the wall, and I was like, I'm done. <laughs> Maybe it was Doctor Strange. You, you just got to see if it happens again. Maybe. Maybe but... to another dimension? The no, he dimension literally fell through the wall, and I couldn't attack him, couldn't whip him. I was just like, I'm done with this game. And I went and played Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do it at? Yep. I get up and walk away like Roger. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I do like Miles Morales. That that, that the Miles <laughs> Morales to use your fan. The Miles Morales game was actually really good. I actually uh, that actually that that game actually broke my heart at the end of it. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Like the Peter Dyer or something like that. Do we ain't gonna talk about all that? <laughs> you can find out online. I mean, you can probably give it the mantle to Miles. Like, here, you'll be the only what? Spider-Man in New York now. Well, won't nobody be accusing me of spoiling anything? <laughs> yeah, I haven't played the second one. It makes sense. I haven't, I haven't played the second one, but I played the first one, and then I played the Miles Morales one. And yeah, the Miles Morales one that that shit broke my heart. Honestly, it's like you're talking about the whole series or something, Miles Morales. But... No, no, I haven't played the no, second no. one yet. So, oh wait a minute, here. Oh, that ain't the Spider Man I want to see. I mean, think darker. This is the only one that was available at RJ or Code, so give or take. <laughs> anyway, so our certified legend is Kingdom Hearts. Duh. But Final Fantasy wins too. <laughs> part of it. Shit, <laughs> duh. This is aggravated. This is stupid. I mean, let's be honest here. Nothing else stood a chance. Uh, you got the best of both worlds. You got Disney. You got Final Fantasy. You got the super snappy, crazy, over the top gameplay. Yeah, the story is a little spicy, I so but I thought that was yours. Yeah. Yeah, this, the story is a little spicy, but uh, any, anybody and everybody knows about Kingdom Hearts. And, I mean, it's to say, it, it goes without saying that just the series overall is just so meaty. Like, there's so much just meat on the bones of that game. And just Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix alone is is just a masterpiece. And <clears throat> anything else beyond that is just... Fire. It's just, it's just, it's just great. It's just fire. And, of course, fire. it won. Nothing. I mean, I mean, yeah. Final Fantasy is great. Yakuza is great. Well, but well, hold I mean, on though, because you had because somebody was right on your ass because our certified sidekick only missed by one, and it is it Final, Final, Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Yeah, I guess it makes you know sense. <laughs> because and it makes sense. You know why? You know why? Because Kingdom Hearts is Final Fantasy with Disney characters. Oh, he just gonna speak for you. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's there you go. That's what it is. Yeah. Double Same show, one. different. Yeah, double wavy. There you go. Both won under yeah. like Microsoft. Hey, look, Xbox. We still win. Anyway, so we move along to the next category, which is worst portrayal of a comic book character. Up first, Ben Affleck is Daredevil. <laughs> I, <see> <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, what do you honestly? What a, what a, what a like, I mean, it's just the whole, just the way it was written in general. Now, I don't dislike Ben Affleck, but I just don't like him acting certain roles. <laughs> 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 and I think he's he's not a bad actor. He's just it's just certain things he can't do. And yeah, because he has his range of motion it sucks. <laughs> he never. He, fun, little fun he fact. Connects. A little he fun fact: the roles he does. I don't think he Ben Affleck. Tell. I don't think no. Ben Affleck closed his mouth the entirety of 
of Daredevil. I think his mouth was open the whole time. Oh my! You know, honestly, when I watched it, when I, when I was younger, when I went to the movies to go see it, I think it was on Fourth of July. When I went you to went to the movies movie. to see that? It was a while ago, and uh, I'm me sorry. and my uh, niece went, and um, and I thought it was just the best movie ever. And then as I watched it, as I got older, I was like, this is nothing like this. I'm like, what is, nothing? I'm like, what is he doing? I'm like, this is nothing like I said, oh, my God. I was like, why did I like this so much? It's like a completely different movie. It was. I was like, this is terrible. So, yeah, yeah, that was my pick. Whether it went you actually high, liked that when you were a kid? When I was younger, because I didn't know no better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be fair, to be fair, I thought it was cool too when I was younger. I did. A superhero. That's all it was. <laughs> to be fair, I saw. I got, got to see Carmen. Le- I got to see Homegirl in leather, and then like, like her, yeah. yeah, and then like the bat, then like the bat hearing, and I thought it was cool when I was like yeah. a child, a, a, a child. I guess for the time back? period, I guess that the uh, CGI and stuff was pretty cool. But other than that, then it had that super iconic song. That wake me up. <laughs> that movie is. Oh God! Ter- yeah. I'm gonna cry. The movie is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so bad. All right, our next nomination is. Ooh, Kingsley Benadire as a Super Scroll. Trash. My Black Star. Trash. And well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. She did a wonderful job. Don't get me wrong. She was a good trash. Missing <laughs> trash. power, but it wasn't a Fantastic Four, Invisible Woman, Flaming Torch, the Thing's power. It's a Super Scroll from Marvel's Capcom Two, or yeah, no, he was amazing. Yeah, uh, he was so good in that game too. I know. Wait, why did I give us that trash? I'm sorry. That lovely creature that is on the MCU now that we have. It may get better, maybe. Maybe get a 2.0 version of it. <laughs> fresh. Maybe she might pop up in Dead Poopers. But it was trash. Wait, who? We're going back. Dead Poopers. Um, super Scroll. Oh, no, who, get... who did you nominate? King of the there. Yeah, I can't Just, Technically, the Super Scroll. I don't think, because my issue wasn't exactly the way he acted it. It was just, it was very poorly written and it was clunky. And it just, yeah, it just, it was rushed. It didn't make any sense. It just was all over the place. Yep. Trash. Yeah, the whole series. So, I didn't like that. That was like one of the, the I did not like that. That's the one I did not like. I oh, not and like I feel it. so bad because I, I love, uh, what's his name? Uh, Samuel Jackson. Damn name. Yeah, Samuel Jackson in the, yeah. uh, the main role. And it's just like. I was trying to think of his, his character. I can't think of his Nick character. Fury. I can't think of nobody. Oh, Nick, Nick, Nick Fury. Nick Fury. <laughs> Nick Fury. And uh, I don't know. It just it just it just was not good. And then and this is coming from I don't even like the whole. I never liked the story line of scrolls. I just always thought it was just yeah the whole sc- scroll and <laughs> scroll and Cree. <sighs> it's like uh, I, I never liked it. Guess what? They're gonna be back. I in never liked worlds. It. Yay. I hope they kind of fix it by then. Not excited. They're not. They're not going to. They're going to do what they do yeah. with, Doctor, with Doctor Strange two movie again. Like here's a not, great not, idea. Let's crash it. Not, not, not excited. Sorry, in traffic. Yeah, moving on. Our next nomination is um, mm, um. Jason Momoa as Aquaman. <laughs> so, can I be honest? <laughs> I was about to say you gonna have to explain this one to me. I didn't really have I didn't really have anybody to choose. I just live when uh, as already it was like, oh, you didn't submit something for this, and I was like, oh, because I don't have somebody, and he was just the first person I thought about, and I just submitted. So I don't actually really? think this man is bad at portraying Aquaman. <laughs> um, I, I mean, when I think, everything else. yeah, <laughs> I think mean, he looks great as Aquaman. Um, I just think about the white, the white guy with the blonde hair and the blue eyes. So when I think about Aquaman, I was about to say, um, not Big Daddy Moa. Well, that's it. 
Okay, that makes a little <laughs> bit more sense now because I was like, oh, yeah, ooh, I got to. So I literally was like, oh my way. gosh, I got to put this in there. Everybody, you can put your pitchforks away, your knives, your right. pipe bombs, and your Molotov cocktails. He didn't mean it. I'm keeping them at has rays just in case, you know, half rays. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Just, bone to pick with. I got a bone to pick about Jason Momoa. Why? Because in the first movie, they made him a super crazy decorative ornate suit that he was supposed to wear, and he said it was too heavy. What, what is he supposed to do about that? <laughs> He's Jason Momoa. You see them shoulders? He's they, still human. They, I guess they spent months making. I guess they spent months making this thing, and like at the very last minute, he said it's too heavy. And he just didn't wear it. And then they just, <laughs> he probably he probably tried just, to tough it out. They should get the rock to do it. Uh, please, no. Let's not. Let's, let's not do that. Let's not. <laughs> the next no, not one. The rock. I'm so no, tired of seeing the rock. Yeah. So the next the, rock. the the next nomination he is because we're not just not gonna go there. Jared Little as the Joker. I snow the protagonist. I mean, the whole situation was dog shit. Yes. Oh, yeah, from, agreed. From, uh, from start to bottom. Was, yeah. 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 The whole thing was just dog shit. And 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 I I love Jared Little as a musician. I love Thirty Seconds to Mars, but he's just such a weirdo goofball as an actor, and. It didn't make sense to make Joker like the leader of like a trap house, and like the whole thing was just bad. It was just <laughs> bad. It was just goofy and stinky. I don't think they had any direction with that movie at all. Like it's just they gave it just him a grill. It, they gave him a grill, and then like the tattoos, <laughs> and the, they gave him like the the slick back hair, and just. The whole thing was just bad. Like I don't think they had any they, idea. Didn't they give him a bunch of tats too? Yeah, they gave him like, like the ha, at it now. This yeah, like bad. the ha 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 tattoos all over his body and face, and it, it, he had a grill and like a chain. It was just terrible. It was just actually terrible. Is that the Joker that had his hand over his head like this one? Is that that Joker? I don't. I don't I no, think so. Titans go made fun of that one. The whole hand over its face. Yeah, it was just it. The the whole it was just yeah, it man. was it was terrible. It was just actually terrible. Go ahead, say it. Trash. It was trash. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, literally, it was just trash. Like the whole thing was just trash. The That's whole movie not. was the whole movie was trash. Our final nomination. <laughs> Ooh, just him, but yeah. our final nomination: Pierce Brosnan, Doctor in Black Adam, nominated by me. I'm gonna start to don't have any issue with the way that the actor portrayed him. I think he did Doctor Fate was complete bullshit. They do what they normally do to certain movies and certain characters when there is something that they need. To to nerf him. They just let's be honest. They nerfed Doctor Fate. I no. Like instead of just rising the conflict, you just nerfed characters, and that just doesn't sit well with me. Especially because we don't get to see Doctor Fate that often. Yeah. And then I, I'm like, I think that the. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, they, they blew him up and shit. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, I'm like, y'all could have done better by the, the actors did the best that some of them did the best that they could with what they were given, but it's like they really poorly there who was supposed to be a lord of order. Not like this. All this day of chaos breaking out. Where's the order? I'm so tired of I'm so tired of superhero movies. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm so tired. I'm so over them. No, so tired of we're it. not going. We, we're not doing that. But does that like could have done so much better? So 
with that said, all right, legend is Ben Affleck is their devil. Yeah, yeah. Award, it be like a trash award because they're doing that. Like well, uh, just, just, just really okay. <laughs> but I mean, I guess. <laughs> Our certified okay. trash. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> I guess, I guess you could be the best of the worst. I guess that's not. That's yeah. not saying much. That's still that's not, not good. saying a lot. No. <laughs> that means that at all of them, that means I'm still the worst. Yes. Because that means you're nobody the picked none of the other ones. That means he was so bad that he got picked over all the other <laughs> bad, <laughs> bad patrol. Hey, you got a window. <laughs> Congratulations! You got a dub. You get the. You get the. I mean, you get the. Be- win. You, and that was you get the. Be- you get the bedazzled trash can of fate. You you get the. <laughs> yes. Jubilee. The sparkle. You, See fireworks. You get the golden boot. Yes. <laughs> the golden like boot. The, well, the bronze boot. Or the bronze. I mean bronze. You get the bronze. You get the. You get the bronze kneecap. You get the bronze no, kneecap. No. Hold on, though, because the certified sidekick is uh, Super Scroll. That's fair. That's listening to both. Get him to the sun. To the trash. He's like, he don't, he don't care to throw both away. Trash. Hey, look, this Let's time we're on over. top of the heap of trash. Okay. Wait a minute. Are we trash? Are we trash? Hey. No, because we ain't all in Columbus. Trash. We're still, we're still Ohio. <laughs> included. Next. Damn, I'm not going to box it. Next category. <laughs> <laughs> Best reboot of a franchise. Uh, first pick Dark Knight trilogy. Snow the protagonist. Yeah. Duh. I mean, The Dark Knight. Literally, like the best reboot movie of all time, right? Am I, am I crazy? The Dark Knight? I don't know. Convince us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the, the Heath Ledger, Heath Ledger's Joker. Um, I don't care what anybody says. I think Christian Bale killed it as Batman. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, just the craziness, the atmosphere of the movie. Michael Jai White made an appearance. Just, just Gotham. The way that they portrayed Gotham City, it was just so dark and gritty, and just like. The, like just the vibe of like how the characters interacted with each other, and it was just it was just it's a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. I mean, Batman Begins was a little meh, but to, I mean to be fair, it was they were Batman Begins crawled so that the Dark Knight could run, and then which which one of them did we get Bane? Was it was it the, uh, that was the Dark Knight Rises? Okay. Which was all, which was also a banger. So I mean, it's the best reboot. Now, don't get me wrong; I do love the old school Batman movies, like the one with like Arnie and and Jim Carrey and shit. Those were cool. But if you want to talk about just the reboot of a franchise, the, the Dark Knight trilogy was just it was peak. Yeah, it was peak reboot. Kept, they could have kept, kept that same energy. Kind of. Yeah. They could have kept that same. Maybe energy. they didn't want to do it though. They switched over to Ben Affleck. Our next nomination. Well, you are uh, you you already got the proof of that when our next <laughs> nomination is Animaniacs by Dark Wizard. So I chose Animaniacs because when that came out on Hulu, I think they did a nice job of taking that silliness that we grew up with, you know, just kind of like the wackiness of the Animaniacs running around the studios. Um they didn't, they didn't even include a little bit of pinky in the brain in that too, if I'm if I'm remembering correctly. Um, I think so. But it brought back all that, like you know, those good feels. But it was very current and up to date, and they were including a lot of like today things as far as like addressing like certain issues. As far as like, I mean, they threw a little jab at you know politicians and you know some other things that we had going on. So they like, would do it in a fun way where you're like. Oh, okay. This is funny. That was smart. So, yeah, the Animaniacs will always have a special place in my heart. Plus, uh, Wacko was probably the best Animaniac, too. He was. Oh. <laughs> my shit was the first episode when it was catching up on everything, and dude was like, Queen Bay. I was yeah, like, that's, what? That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next nomination is 
Super Mario Brothers. Uh, icy notes. Mm. Yes. I, for one, I can't wait for the second part um, when they finally bring in my absolute favorite character is Yoshi. But I liked it because coming from what they had, I mean, <laughs> it just, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, why? I'm like, and, and that's another one of those movies from back in the, what, they came out in the 80s? But I watched it in the 90s that I thought was just so good. Or was it the early 90s? I don't know. Whenever it came out, it just wasn't, it just was, I just, I got to see a character that we all know and love mm-hmm. on, the, on the screen, the big screen. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was just a, well, a good movie until I got older and watched it and realized how terrible it was. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> but I do, I, I like how they just kept it animated. I, I think I, I prefer it animated. Um, that way, when they, if they do, they can do a crossover with Sonic. Because that's another movie. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess I could say that. Super Smash Brothers movie. Yeah. You forgot about the, if you gave it the iconic, the Super Mario Brothers song. The Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, so they did a lot of reference to the, uh, to the old games and when it originally came. Between. Yeah, that movie, the, the Mario movie was fire. Yeah. It was. I actually watched I it liked twice it. when it came on Peacock. Didn't it, it, was, it, was, it, was, <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was surprisingly good. I went into it with nothing. I thought it was going to so I thought it was going to be a stinker, but it was actually really good. I was entertained all the way through. Yeah, it was, it, it was a really good movie. Threw me with that damn Peach song, but it was still good. Yeah. <laughs> it was... in because it was Jack Black and he knew what he was doing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the movie was really good. Yeah. I enjoyed it. All right, guys. Next up, Roroni Kitchen, Black Star. Do I need to say more? It's Roroni Kitchen, Reverse Blade Demon himself. Ronin Kenshin. His new series came out. This thing is still on break right now. It finally ended on hiatus. It's on hiatus, but you take the old school, old anime series and redub it, add some splash of animation, fight scene, new voice actors, and everything like that. It just gives you the razzle dazzle right there. It's amazing. If you want some childhood flashback or some, oh my god, my memory's unlocked. It's a good show to watch and everything like that. It's Ronin really Kenshin Reverse Blade. It kept all the blood and gore there. The nice fight scene. The Yosei, the Rubotai, whatever his name is. But it's Ronin really Kenshin. I don't need to say anymore anything more beside that. <laughs> Short and simple. It's fucking Ronin really Kenshin. Childhood. All right. I'm going to ask you to say that fast. <laughs> say. Ronin Kenshin. I'll say it again. Not you to say be... it fast. You got to say it a bunch of times faster. Not. Ronin Kenshin. Ronin Kenshin, Ronin Kenshin. Not to not to be that <laughs> not to be that guy. First of all, it sounded like you said real tension. <laughs> not not to be that guy. Jimmy, come on, be that guy. But didn't the creative Roddy Kitchen get outed as like a pedophile? The original one, yeah. or the new one? Huh? The original one? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Oh yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. We're not talking about the new. <laughs> what to say? We're say. We talk. We talk about the anime itself, not the creators. Right. All right. I guess that's fair. That's great. This for a different episode. I guess that's fair. I don't think we want to talk about that. Period. Like that's, I guess that's alive. fair. We like being on the air. Yes, okay. Man. Next. Next. <laughs> the final nomination is the Sailor Moon Crystal. Yeah. So, that's needless right. to say, I picked Sailor Moon Crystal because we all won it to see how the story ended. And I feel like we finally got that. We finally got it the way it was supposed to, with the best visuals, none of that extra filler nonsense. Okay, moving along. When it switched over past 3D, it Com- got better. The 3D compared, weird. compared to what we got in the 90s and compared to how many filler episodes we had just to get through one arc. I mean, we had three Sailor Scouts in the original arc for like, I got my first gray hair by the time they showed us Jupiter. Um, was that yeah, and but then they never even finished the stars art, and I feel like you know That's they did now movie. finally. <laughs> well, yeah, but the original never they finally dubbed it over like a couple years ago, but who cared by then? I mean, I got it just because, but yeah, when the one studio took it over, they released a new stars, starlights. But, it, but I hell, who cared? I had seen it and subbed already by then. I had already seen what happened. But um, 
this remake i and it did my favorite thing the other the other scouts they got their power ups instead of being like miles and miles behind of, of the one character like they tend to do all the time you got to see some power ups so yeah silver moon Chris. somebody got to be a backup singer <laughs> uh, okay, hold on now. Tuxedo mask. <laughs> there you go. They actually gave him an attack too, other than them damn roses. I don't understand the La Bomber shit, but hey, work. Santa Mercury is my favorite. Doctor so Ju- mother and repent. Jupiter. You got to. Mercury rising. Oh, all that love <laughs> makes my stomach hurt. The right uh, answer was Sailor Mars. If you guys didn't know that. <laughs> I can raise a close second. Yeah. I'll give it to her. Yeah. And, then, and then Uranus. Uranus, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, whoa, well, you don't want to get kicked off the platform. <laughs> about okay, okay. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> Uranus. <laughs> I said I said Uranus. What about my anus? But <laughs> our, <laughs> our certified legend is Sailor Moon Crystal. Huh. Yeah. I'd like to take this award on behalf of the Academy. On behalf of nobody, fuck all you bitches. This award is for me and me only. <laughs> I'd like to thank myself for having the foresight to do it the way it needs to be done. And with that being said, better Preach. look next time. Preach. Who was the side? The Dark Knight trilogy. Duh. Don't, don't do that. Hey. How do you? How are you that cocky about being the son? <laughs> <laughs> like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back it up a little bit. You don't even get a speech. Move on to the next hold, hold, hold on, Farah. You didn't quite make it in the group that long. I already said what I needed to say. All right, you guys. Our last category for the night the one that gave us all the good vibes and all the feels for the stuff that we love it is best movie soundtrack first up the greatest showman Ice ah, that was me look he was waiting on this <laughs> we, we knew who it was so he, knew. He, came, he came alive first off, first off i mean just the one song by itself Ray in circles around so. any other category or any other choice on that list. <laughs> Excuse me? You know a song that... Um, sure. The main song. song. Never enough. <laughs> yeah, no, not that one. The other one. Oh, which song. one? The, the main song, one. The greatest the, uh, This is me? This is me. That's the name. Yeah. Oh, when they was doing a little... The dance. I, I still ain't seen it. I could have just put that on there and they're like, oh, you had a great show me. But uh, I just love the singing was really good. I got the I watched some of the backstory on uh, on some of the uh, some of the actors and actresses that got, was singing in the um, in it, of course. And I don't know. I was watching the video and made me cry. And she was just oh. like, she was like feeling the she she really felt those words. I felt that song. Okay? <clears throat> I think a lot of people did. But then I also like the other song with Zendaya and Zac Efron. A lot of people forget that Zac Efron can really sing. <laughs> yeah. But I, I do like this one. Um, Rewrite the Stars. That was the name of it. And I, that was actually one of, between that and Never Enough was one of my top. Well, I guess I can have all three. They was like my top three on that whole soundtrack. I mean, the whole soundtrack is really good, but those three songs, for sure, it beat everybody. I don't care if it didn't win. I don't care if it won. <laughs> It won in your hearts. That's all that matters. I guess. Rewrite the stars is going to be played at my wedding. <laughs> look, let me, let me look into it. Let me, I'm going to steal it from mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. You just said you haven't seen it. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful... It's a beautiful song. The, uh, it's about it's about people who aren't supposed to be together because people tell them that they're not I supposed to be this, together. I will say this: if you know the real history on uh, what's his name, is nothing like the actual history of uh, the Barnum. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. it's still a good. It was still a good movie and a good good sound. It's not historically correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Next up. <laughs> spider man across the spider verse black star uh 
keep it nice and short. They did an awesome soundtrack on that whole series. It's catchy. Uh, the dream is in there, Sanjay. It's amazing. Everything made sense when you was watching it. It didn't seem like off. Like, why is this song in this show? Why is this in here? It was just the whole music just kind of flowed with everything and stuff like that. From start to finish, the music was great. And I still listen to Sunrise, Sunjoy. It's the songs they did for that. I still listen to that song day by day. It was good. That's all. Nice and short. All right. Next up. Encanto. Hey. Uh, Ooh. Uh, hey. Go ahead. I don't know. That might be my money. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> we got to we got to say too much in it just for like the reaction. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. You, you, we just talked about Bruno took over so, took over the world. Nobody wanted to talk about Bruno. Anybody named Bruno was like so wildly good. popular for so, a long time. So but good. Like, that's a that's a good shout. So good. But see, all the other songs though, I thought were like really good too. Like the there family, were. Girl, family. That was a good yeah. one. They kind yeah. of introduced the family. I, the no, the, I, I like um, pressure. Yeah. Pressure was the best pressure, song yeah, for me. Yeah, I think yeah. pressure. Service pressure, pressure was a good one. Yeah, and, um, as well. so and even good. when her sister, when she was like, oh, what else can I do? You know, like, she's like, oh, I can't, just, I don't just make flowers. I can make ugly things or whatever you want to, how you want to go about it. Like, you know, so just good. like all very like fun uh, songs. So yes. Yeah. So that's why I chose Encanto. Encanto is so good. All right. Yes. Yeah, that's a good one. I, that's good one. That's so good. Banger after banger after banger. <laughs> All the songs are bangers in that concept. All right. Next step. A goofy movie. That's not a protagonist. Powerline. Yeah. Tevin Campbell. Gotcha. <laughs> it's Tevin. I ain't seen that movie either. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> I don't like movies. I mean, I had to sit for too oh. long. Like, Honestly, getting me to sit anywhere longer than an hour is like a challenge. I, I can see now. that. We raise our <laughs> don't actually, you know what? Don't even, don't even trip trail because I didn't really like the goofy movie all that much either. So don't even... It's only the power oh. line song I cared about the most. It's the only good one. I never really the power cared. line I that movie. I, I do like power line songs movie. better. That's what, it was. what? Oh, who are who? who okay. how, even though who are I guess he's supposed to be a black character. Who are you? <laughs> are they all black? I think that's in what I way, thought. In a way. In a way, I guess. I guess like the, the little them, bra like I guess the little tan ones black. are supposed to be mixed them. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Yeah, Roxanne was definitely mixed. Yeah, she had the Hawaiian thing. silky. <laughs> yeah. All right. Our last nomination is Step Up Two by me. Again. I mean, step up too. Yeah, I mean, Miss I think Ellie. that was oh wait, that was the one where they in the water, right? Yeah, when they was doing their little water okay. shit. And was, okay, that was. But cool. I mean, okay. I mean, come on. Same. Where you missed out? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, Miss the Ellie finale. Did, yeah, the Sierra, finale. Uh, yeah, yeah the, the finale and step up two was. <laughs> the finale and step up two was godlike. And then think about all the remixes we got. Like, Shingling have been remixed like a thousand times by different people, by the same people. I mean, Shingling. Get, get Up was on that was on that soundtrack by Sierra. Like, come on. Oh, I don't even know that. Who oh, excuse me? Like, you had a lot of big names on that soundtrack. Like, you I know can put it... <laughs> You could put it on party, get up the next day, and be like, "What the hell did I do yesterday?" <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna disrespect my nomination like that. Anyway, our certified legend. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, our certified legend goes to Encanto. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. It's so good. I'm mad I didn't think of it. I'm, I'm mad right, I didn't I'm think of it. Nah, Pre pressure was so good. That's but such a banger. Hot on your ass in Kanto is the greatest showman. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, y'all in this y'all in this new cocky energy y'all giving. I don't understand it. 
first. I'm just happy this time something that I picked actually won. Last time we did this. <laughs> oh yeah, you didn't you didn't have any wins last time. Nothing won the last time we did this. <laughs> those are those are S base now, you know. Yes, yeah, so I was kind of glad we ventured out. Oh, look at that. <laughs> now you got something to hang on your mantle. In a word, that means absolutely, absolutely nothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. To all our certified legends, keep on trying. Maybe someday. Insects. Yes. <laughs> the best of the worst people. But that brings this year's awards to a close. Make sure you follow us, like, comment, subscribe. Find the link in the description of this video. And we will see you guys next time. Say goodnight, Blurts. Bye. Night blurts. Night blurts.